Hey, what's up? Rob here again. And in this ClickFunnels 2.0 video tutorial, I want to show you how you can have different elements display on a mobile device or on a computer. And you can do that from right inside the ClickFunnels 2.0 editor. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are inside the ClickFunnels 2.0 editor. I've got a page open and ready to show you here. Now we've got all our elements on the page. So I've got an image over here. I've got some text, headline, uh, some paragraph text, and I've got a couple of buttons. Now, if you've got the type of business where you want the feature for a button for people to be able to click the button and call you directly from their mobile device, um, lots of you know lots of people use that type of feature, but you don't necessarily want that to display if they're viewing on a computer. So you can choose which one is visible on which device, and it's really simple. So if you click on the button you want to affect, that brings up the button menu on the right hand side. And down here at the bottom, you've got visibility, and this is set to all. So if I if I have this on, it's going to show the, this button uh, in all devices. Now, if I want this to display on mobile only, which I do, I click on this button here, and now it's taking me to the mobile view. You can see up at the top here, you can toggle between desktop and mobile. This button is now set to view only on a mobile. Um, if I click on desktop view, you can see now that that button has disappeared, and only the... Um, regular button is here which would go to perhaps an opt-in or a, a, a call booking page something like that calendar or something like that, perhaps however you decide to do it uh, and then on the mobile obviously you've got the click to call so they can simply click the button and that will dial your uh, dial your number directly so it doesn't happen just with buttons you could do this for anything so for instance if i had if we go back to mobile view there you can see maybe this image is a little too small i could choose to put another image in here that would display alternatively on a mobile. So if I, I could just come in here to this uh, to this image and I could clone it. And let's say this one, I'm gonna change the image to a different format. I'll just pick one that I've got in here already. Let's say that one. And you can see if I go to mobile view, that is a longer, taller type of image. Uh, but I now don't want this image. So I could have two versions of this image, a long, tall version and a uh, wider landscape version. So this one here, if I come to the settings, I can make that one desktop only, which will show it only in the desktop view. And this one, I can make mobile only. So now on the mobile view, I just get my tall portrait uh, format image. And obviously I've got my button down here. And on the desktop view, I've got my wide landscape image, but I've got no uh, click to call button. So you can do this with anything. You can do it with text, you can do it with images, you can do it with buttons, you can do entire sections. So you could have a section laid out for mobile, uh, you might have a set path people would take, say, if they're looking on their mobile device, if you've got a, if you've got a business that runs um, or that needs people to, or they're going to be searching for something on their phone and they're likely to call you straight away um, for certain services, you could have those services displaying above other services that they may perhaps be looking for if they were sat at their computer, for instance. Um, obviously, that's completely down to what type of business you have, but the the possibilities are endless, really, and it's really easy to do. It's just a case of clicking the element, coming down to visibility here and choosing which device um, which device you want it visible on. And if you want to switch back to available on all devices, you can just come down here, click on all, and that will be available again on all devices. So nice and simple to use and really quick and easy. And it's not that easy to do in a lot of other platforms. Believe me, I've tried <laughs> and I've had to come up with all sorts of creative ways to do this. So this is a great feature in the ClickFunnels 2.0 editor. Now, if you haven't tried ClickFunnels 2.0 yet, if you're thinking about trying it, there is a standard 14-day trial. But if you go to the link next to me here, there's an extended 30-day trial, plus you get a, a whole load of bonuses, including a challenge, which will help you build your first funnel, get you up and running within 30 days. You get training from ClickFunnels as well, and over $8,500 worth of bonuses from them. And on top of that, you'll also get from me um, a bonus training method, which will teach you one of the most powerful Google ranking techniques uh, that there is available. I've used this myself. I use it regularly and it will help you get anything you want, business or uh, products, etc., ranked on the front page of Google uh, within 24 hours. So if you want that, all the details are in the description and the pinned comment, but come to the link here uh, and go through the steps there if you want your extended trial and the bonuses. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want any more uh, videos covering ClickFunnels 2.0, anything you want to know how it works, any of the features you want um, covered, I'm happy to make a video. So please let me know in the comments. If you've liked this video, uh, please give it a like. It really helps me. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get informed when I release new videos like this one. All of that stuff helps me get my videos in front of more people like you. So thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. Bye.